Hunter Spoke Riders here. And this is my video review on my new Icon Thriller helmet. I've been riding with this helmet for a few weeks now. And I guess I'm ready to give a review on it. Now let me first explain to you why I went with this Icon helmet. This is my actually, this is my third helmet I've ever bought in my lifetime. I really want a dirt bike helmet with the goggles, but since I wear glasses, uh, I, I've heard that the goggles kind of clash with the glasses. I tried on a few at Cycle Gear, so I really wasn't happy with the uh, the way the goggles was clashing with my glasses. So this was the next best thing, adventure style um, helmet. So I, I went. I originally was drawn to this helmet just because of purely by the design. I love the look of the helmet with the wolf. Uh, it's almost like comic book style. And then the Icon logo and the eyes and then the Thriller logo in the back all glow in the dark. I thought that was kind of cool. I think the helmet itself is pretty detailed. I just love the way this helmet looks. I wanted a helmet with a, with a visor. I wanted to try a helmet with a visor because every day when I ride home from work, the sun is like, and riding actually to work, the sun is blasted, blazing in my eyes. So I figured, I know I had the tenant shield on my showy helmet, but I wanted to try one with a visor so I can kind of tilt my head down and block the sun a little bit and see, just to see how it is. And, and it, just, it just looked cool, you know? I wanted to give it a try. In the description box, I'll post a link to the unboxing of my Icon helmet so you can see everything it came with and all the extra stuff I ordered with it. Uh, the helmet has a lot of good airflow. There's a lot of vents and stuff in it. So that's, uh, it's pretty cool on that aspect. One thing I will say, uh, this is the first helmet I had that came with a chin, a chin curtain. I had really no idea what this thing was. Uh, the instructions that came with the helmet really didn't clearly tell you how to put them on, how to put, install this chin curtain. I ended up having to look up an image on Google, kind of figure out, okay, that's where the chin curtain goes. Because the first week I had the helmet, I didn't have no chin curtain. I was just riding with it. And I tell you one thing, man, uh, for riding with it with a week without it, and then a week with it, uh, the chin curtain definitely comes in handy. It definitely box some of the wind uh, coming up and uh, brushing up against the bottom of your chin. So I highly recommend putting your uh, chin curtain in in this style helmet. Uh, the latching system is pretty much like all the my other two helmets. You just kind of put it through the loops. And it has like the loop stack with the little snap. Um, so there's really nothing different about that. Uh, the inside is uh, pretty much the same as my other two helmets. Nothing really too spectacular about that. But the one thing I do, I did order extra with this helmet, I'm glad I did, is this right here. It's called uh, the Icon Breath Box. Oh man, I don't see how I went all this time without a breath box. Uh, what this breath box does, it has like two little things and it kind of snaps. So it, these two vents, it snaps in the inside of these two vents right here. So the air that's coming in and out is only coming through these vents with the breath box. The breath box is almost like a dust mask. It has a little metal piece you pinch here on your nose to kind of seal everything up. So that way when your shield is down and it's kind of chilly out, uh, your breath is not fogging up your, your shield. That's the one thing I didn't like about my Shoei helmet because I was constantly, when I stopped by the stoplight, I'm not moving. I was constantly flipping the shield up. Where this one, I could just flip the shield down, put the helmet on, I could walk around with it uh, before I even get on my bike. And it doesn't, it doesn't fog up my shield. So I definitely recommend uh, buying the extra little breath box. Uh, it's kind of hard to see with the chin curtain in. And, but the, the breath box is definitely, uh, was worth everything to me. You're probably wondering what's this shield I have on here. Um, this shield, this is the yellow tinted night vision shield. And actually that's what took me so long to do this uh, review because I had never tried this shield out up until last, last night. I rode around for like maybe 45 minutes in the dark in the city. And the shield, I will say man, the shield works great. Um, you don't have to get an Icon helmet. If, if they have this, if they have a yellow, 
night vision shield for any brand other than Icon, I recommend getting this kind of shield for night riding if you do a lot of riding at night. Uh, because this is way better than the clear shield. I will say that. Uh, it makes everything, it puts almost, let's just say it puts your vision in HD. It puts everything, it makes everything sharp and crisp and a little bit brighter at night to where you can see it. Even in the city, uh, last night I did a little ride, uh, started out in the city and kind of went out into the desert -y area. And even in the city, it, it like, it's kind of hard to explain, but like let's say the headlights on cars are the real bright, like there's no, it makes the it makes lights not so glary, you know, not so where it's just a, a constant glare. It makes everything distinctive, you know, it kind of, it tones it down, but it makes it brighter at the same time. It's like, you know how sometimes you see a car coming from the opposite direction, you don't know whether it's a cop or not, or you can't really you just see two headlights, you can't really see the detail. Now with, with this shield, you can see the detail, you can see, I can almost tell what kind of car it is from like almost two blocks away before it even gets up on me. So that definitely comes in handy, even if you're riding the city at night. And then like if you're in like the deserty areas and the animals and stuff come out at you, you know how their eyes kind of reflect in the, in your headlight. But by the time you see it, it's kind of too late and you end up smashing into a deer or whatever. Out in Arizona, I've known uh, guys, they total their whole bikes out because they hit a coyote and crashed. This shield right here, I definitely recommend for uh, if you do a lot of nighttime riding. Uh, no matter if you got an Icon helmet or not. If they have it available uh, for your style of helmet or your brand of helmet, uh, definitely buy it. It's definitely well worth the money. The only problem, the only thing I didn't like about this Icon helmet is how you have to change the shield. See, like my Showy has like kind of like a quick changing shield. You can just snatch it off and snatch it back on. But with the Icon, you gotta take these little covers off right here. Let's see if I can get this one off. Uh, you gotta pull this off right here. And then you got this little screw that you gotta take all the way out. And then you can snap it out. It makes it kind of a pain in the butt to get the, the shield on and off. So it's not gonna nothing you can do like real quickly. I will say though, the second time I did it by putting this shield on, uh, it was a lot easier than the first time. So I think once you start doing it over and over again, it will get a little bit easier, but it's definitely not as easy as the showy with the quick uh, release shield. Now the icon does give you this. Uh, you can put it on your keychain or whatever. It's just a little, like a little tool that you, uh, it comes with to make it easier to get this, uh, get this little screw out. But once you pull that screw out, uh, it, it comes off fairly easy. It's, it's nothing I, I would probably change every day because I really don't do a whole bunch of nighttime riding. But if I were, if I am, if I know I'm gonna ride at night, I definitely will uh, definitely have this uh, night yellow night vision shield with me. Now, as far as the wind noise go and how quiet the helmet is, uh, it's definitely not the world's quietest helmet. It's nowhere near as quiet as my Showy X11 was, but at the same time, I could buy two of these for what I paid for my one Showy X11. I will say, as far as wind noise goes, uh, one out of 10, one being the worst, 10 being the best, I, I give it like a five on the wind noise, you know? And then like my Showy X11, I'd give it like maybe a, eight eight and a half it's not that far off i will say one thing once i put the which is going to sound weird but once i put the chin curtain in it did quiet it down a little bit uh also going back to the wind resistance uh like a lot of people have said before i've heard on videos when you're on the freeway doing about 80 85 miles an hour uh straight on the helmet's great now, when you turn your head, you will feel a little drag. You will feel the wind kind of lift up on it a little bit. But as soon as you turn your head back straight again, uh, everything's back to normal. So when you turn your head left to right to look before you switch lanes, you do have to be prepared for the, it's a little, you know, a little drag on the visor. But other than that, man, it, it's a great helmet. Overall, 
I like it. I, it's well worth the money. I'm glad I bought it. I don't regret it at all. Overall, though, it's a good helmet. Definitely well worth the money. I'm happy with it. I ordered this one from Revzilla. Uh, the shipping was pretty quick on it. I think it got here in like a couple days. Bang for the buck, just on the looks wise by itself, it was well worth the money I paid for this helmet. Just because I have never seen another helmet that looks like this, you know? As far as looks goes, Icon pretty much, as far as the graphic design, they're number one. Um, I'm not really, you know, a lot, of, a lot of the graphics I don't like, but it's just for personal uh, choice and personal color choice. But once I seen this one, I knew I had to have it. So there you have it, people. That's my review of my new uh, Icon Thriller helmet. Uh, it's pretty detailed as far as the graphics go. I just like, as far as looks go, I love everything about this helmet, the way it looks. I kind of like on the back how it looks like it's kind of got like a little, almost like a little wing on the back there looks pretty cool and then it's got like little air vents that come out of it so i'm sure it's all for function for a reason but the helmet itself just looks pretty damn cool to me i've gotten a lot of compliments on the helmet uh pretty much everywhere i go there you have it people there's my review hunter spoke riders review of the icon thriller helmet